Let's take a look at some of the construction details for Manage Two-Digit Display. I've built this structure inside a single cycle time loop, and this ensures that when the circuit is resident on the FPGA, it looks like a combinational circuit. It really, really is just taking the 16-bit value found in this global variable and directly wiring it to the uh, 16 signals associated with the two-digit display. Here I'm showing how you go about creating a global variable from scratch. If we needed a global variable that contained this single Boolean data type, Actually, we need to save that file first before we can make much progress. You'll notice that the global variable is a, a VI of sorts. It has a front panel, but it does not have a block diagram. Now that I've saved the VI, I can connect to that specific global variable. And presently, it's set up so that this looks like an indicator. If I change the mode to read, now it looks like uh, a data source or a, or a control, if you will. All right, that's the global variable. Now I take the 16-bit value, and if you look in the comments for this VI, you'll see a little more de description of the specific bit order. Um, I take this 16-bit value and split that apart into two 8-bit values and then convert the numerical value into an, a Boolean array. From there I convert it to a cluster and then once it's in cluster format I can unbundle the individual lines from that Boolean array. And you see it's easy to select uh, any bit that you like or a bunch of bits all at once. This is the FPGA IO node. This ultimately gets you out to the FPGA pin itself. When you already have specific IOs added to the project, they show up here. For example, there's the push button that already exists in the project. Supposing you wanted to add uh, a different I.O. than what you already see, you can go back here and look at the available resources. And supposing you wanted to add slide switch number two, that's easily done. I'll also point out that editing the icon for this sub-VI is a important task. It, it gives you something specific to look at besides the default lab view icon. I won't say too much about this other than to just point out that you can use kind of the basic painting tools to create the icon however you like.